Labor Senator Sam Dastiari, or Shanghai Sam, or Slippery Sam, as he is also uh, known, was uh, back in the news this week uh, due to his links with uh, Chinese businessman Hung Zangimo. Uh, I think I've pronounced that r right. Uh, it was uh, revealed that uh, during a meeting with uh, Mr. Hong, he uh, tip tipped him off that his uh, phone may be being tapped by uh, ASIO and that they should continue their uh, conversation uh, outside of uh, his uh, Mossman mansion where the meeting was being held. And then uh, on top of that, there was audio released uh, of a press conference Sam Destiari held with Mr. Wong uh, where he uh, uh, contradicted Labor's policy and the government's policy on the South China Sea. Now, we already knew about this uh, press conference, but Sam Dastyari said that oh, it was a, an answer to uh, a, a, a question that he was unprepared for, but the audio revealed that it was a, a carefully uh, scripted uh, remark. So Sam's initial uh, explanation uh, turned out to be com complete crap. Uh, now, uh, Sam Dastyari, he's resigned from his uh, position as uh, Deputy Senate Whip, which he was promoted to five months uh, after he uh, ha had to resign from the Labor front bench uh, when, when the first revelations about his relationship with Mr Huang uh, came into the, to the media spotlight. But now there's uh, calls for him to, you know, go from Parliament since he has basically undermined Australia's national interest and also undermined our security agencies and uh, also lied about uh, uh, what really happened. Well, in 1983, uh, Bob Hawke, uh, I can't remember the lad's name, but he sacked a, uh, a Labor Party uh, member from the party for a very similar reason. Now, if Bill Shorten were to be a stronger leader, uh, he would have done the same thing. And I think the country would have admired uh, Mr. Shorten uh, for doing, you know, such, an, uh, such a deed. Uh, but, you know, he, he also, you hear Mr. Shorten uh, on uh, television, on radio, and what he does is he's doing enough to appease News Corp and the right-wingers by, say, um, stripping him of his duty. Uh, but he's also doing enough to appease the left faction, you know, who don't mind selling out Australia to the communists uh, by saying that, you know, he hasn't broken any laws. So Sam Dastyari is causing a bit of instability uh, within Labor, within Labor ranks at the moment, no doubt. But... Whether Mr. Hung would have known that his phone would have been hacked if he was some kind of master spy that they make him out to be, as Richo said on Sky News the other, he probably would have known. So, in a sense, I don't think you know he would have uh, you know unveiled some kind of revelation to Mr. Hung. But I also uh, think that the 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 spirit of what he was doing uh, was was kind of uh, contravening uh, uh, the, the essence of, of what a parliamentarian is meant to stand for. They're meant to uh, be uh, a man or a woman of integrity, of, of honesty, uh, and someone who serves their constituency and their country uh, before anyone else. And certainly, I don't think uh, Sam Dastyari's mind was on serving his people, but it was more so on securing the $400,000 uh, from this Communist Party linked, uh, I guess you could call him a sugar daddy for, for the two major parties. That was his main interest. Uh, and uh, now Bill Shorten said that oh, Sam Dastyari is at the back of the queue when uh, it comes to promotion to the front bench for the government and a lot of people in the media are saying, well, why should, you know, he... Why should there ever be the possibility that he can, you know, hold a, a senior position in government, given that uh, 
we don't know where his loyalties lie. And uh, given that, shouldn't he you know, go from the parliament? And his statement to the Senate, which uh, it wasn't given voluntarily, he was, uh, the government forced him to make a statement to the Senate. It didn't address the, the new allegations. Uh, he, he just said, oh, you know, the, uh, this uh, press conference, uh, uh, it, you know, it was already on the pub public record that it happened and I resigned from the front bench. He, he didn't uh, address the fact that, you know, he'd misled the people about, you know, how the uh, press conference unfolded. And it also didn't uh, address the um, allegation that he, that he tipped Mr. Hong off about his uh, uh, phone being tapped. And uh, also, uh, given that he he knew, uh, Sam Jassiari knew that, you know, ASIO uh, would be listening to Mr. Hong's phone, like, what was... Uh, what, what was Sam Destiari going to tell him that he didn't want ASIO to hear because Sam Destiari said that he went to meet with Mr. Hung to basically break up with him, uh, saying, you know, there's no chance for, for us to uh, work together. It was also pointed out that it was... Uh, if Sam knew that uh, Mr. Hung's phone was being tapped, why did he... Uh, f why, why did he say it out loud? I mean, in those you know, espionage movies, when you know someone's phone's, you know, being tapped, you, you write a note and say, your phone's being tapped, let's talk outside. Well, two things are going on here, Tim. Uh, one, Sam Dastyari is not a very bright man, and that's probably reiterated by the fact that he's a member of the Australian Labor Party as well. Uh, that, that, that's why he said it out loud. And now the, the fact is, where did this leak come from? That's what I find interesting. I actually don't f find the, the whole discussion about ethics be too interesting because we know it's wrong, what he's done. But has the leak in itself uh, come from the intelligence community and, uh, and kind of what effect does that have on our national security? Now, that, that's something that I find interesting as well. Uh, or whether it has been a, a politically savvy leak um, as well to co kind of bolster uh, Malcolm Turnbull's position. Uh, but to the point, uh, I think that uh, Sam Dastyari has done his dash. I don't think he's done, you know, anything criminal per se, but he's, he's handled himself uh, so unethically and uh, with, with such a little amount of dignity that the people of New South Wales probably can't invest their trust in him anymore, uh, which is a shame. But, but I've been thinking about uh, future career options for Senator Dastiari. One of them is, is set him up with a, an halal cooking show uh, in a local community TV station in Western Sydney. And I think that is the next uh, logical step for this man. Uh, are you sure it's, uh, it wouldn't be a, a Chinese cooking show? Uh, maybe, maybe the uh, stir fry segment would come in in the last half hour. You've uh, got to appease the minority groups and the uh, communist sugar daddies. Uh, well, it was reported this week that, you know, Sam, he's eyeing off a career in uh, television and radio. So it, it seems like even Sam's realising that uh, the writing's on the on the wall. I mean, uh, as we mentioned before, uh, Labor and Bill Shorten, because, you know, Sam Dastyari is so uh, factionally uh, pow uh, powerful and, you know, knows how to, you know, get money from donors and, you know, 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 uh, knows where the, the bodies are buried, uh, to use the uh, political term, that... And, and it seems to be the Labor Party, they always, you know, stick by their, um, you know, their mates, no matter how how wrong their actions are for longer than uh, the right side of politics who, you know, f f more often than not immediately, you know, c uh, cut their, um, uh, their senior members loose. Well, th this might be a claim that could get me in some trouble, but what I think it is to do with is that that the right side of politics is more values-based. Uh, more members uh, of the Liberal Party are people of faith uh, who, who actually care about these ethical considerations. And I think that the Labor Party 
uh, only and solely care about increasing the size of government, increasing the purview and power of unions, and they don't really care about honesty, humility and the truth. Uh, and I think this is clear uh, with the case of uh, Senator Dastiari. This has been an Unshackled Fast. Please like, comment and subscribe. While you're here, grab our free ebook at theunshackledbattlefield.net and visit theunshackled.net for all the latest news and commentary.